It's been a busy week for the Kansas City Chiefs as they prepare for their divisional matchup against the Buffalo Bills. We're going to talk about it all right here on the Chiefs Report by Chat Sports. We're happy you chose to take some time out of your day and join us. I'm your host, Jay Sanders. We're going to talk about these six roster moves the Chiefs have made, including signing two players to reserve slash futures contracts. We'll tell you what that means and who they are all here on the show, along with the latest injury news ahead of that divisional matchup versus the Buffalo Bills, including someone that may not play on this Sunday evening's game in that divisional matchup in New York. But I'm telling you what, if you're confident in a Chiefs win, and I know I am, then I want you to get in the comment section of this video and spam KC because we got to have confidence rolling and the one way to show that by spamming our team right in this comment section. So get down there. Pretty simple. KC, put them together. KC, you got it in the comment section. I'd certainly appreciate it and it takes just a couple seconds. Let's get going here with the first roster move, and that will be moving Cam Jones, the rookie, on IR. So out of Indiana, came in here and then actually appeared in all 18 games. He was diagnosed with a chest injury, though, in the Chiefs versus Dolphins game and is now on IR, which is ending his season because you have to be on there for four games. Well, even if the Chiefs play the maximum number of games left, That'd be three because you have the divisional, the championship, and the Super Bowl. So, therefore, his season is done, and it's unfortunate because he was really, honestly, a stellar rookie coming out of Indiana. He actually played all 18 games, and the most important one was actually the Week 18 game versus the Chargers where he was the leading tackler, had 12 tackles, and really showed the depth at linebacker that Brett Veach has created here in Kansas City with Nick Bolton. Leo Chanel, Jack Cochran, you have Cam Jones who can go out there and play as well, play it a couple different ways. I like what I've seen from him, and ultimately, this is a successful season, although it ends in a really not great way, obviously, with injury. I still like what we saw, and I'm excited for the future for Cam Jones, given he's just a rookie right now. Now, in moving that, they had to bring someone up, or chose to bring someone up, rather, off the practice squad, and that guy, Cole Christensen, he played in five games in 2023, but he did nothing. He only appeared in two of those actually playing, and they were both on special teams. So, therefore, he's actually going to get activated. Could potentially see the field, depending on how this all goes around. Obviously, with the playoffs here, anything is possible, but you don't expect to see him on the field unless an emergency situation comes about. But nice to see that the Chiefs have, de have dove into their practice squad bag. Rather than having to go out and sign somebody for this last little run, they said, no, we've had somebody ready. Bring up Cole Christensen. We know what he's got. We're going to put him on the squad right now for the playoff run. I mentioned two players are signed to the reserve slash futures contract. Brett Veach has always kind of been working in the background here. And honestly, the Chiefs are in the midst of a huge playoff run here trying to go to another Super Bowl. But guess what? He's still working day in and day out to try and make sure that next team's, next year's team is just as good, hopefully even better. But before we get that, you want to make yourself better for this New Year's. We'll start on Factor Meals, because if you do it right now, you can get 50% off with the code we're going to tell you about in just a minute. If I'm telling you, if you want ready-to-eat delivery that takes the stress out of meal prep planning and sets you up for success in the new year, then skip the grocery store, skip the, skip the prep work, and skip the, skip the cooking fatigue, and instead get chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. With over 35 plus meals to choose from per week, including options like keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and more, plus over 55 weekly add ons, you'll have a ton of nutritious and flavorful options to kickstart your resolutions. Forget frantic lunch preps and rush dinners. Factors, two minute meals are your secret weapon in the new year. Fuel up fast with restaurant quality meals, all delivered right to your door. Skip the overpriced takeout trap, and Factor, which is cheaper and way more delicious than takeout, well, you're going to get your meals to heat and eat in just two minutes, which means more time for you. Once again, to get that 50% off, here's what you're going to do. Head to factormeals.com slash chiefschat50 and use the code chiefschat50 to get 50% off. That's code chiefschat50 at factormeals.com slash chiefschat50 to get it 50% off. We're going to put that in the comments and the description of today's video. The first guy, the Chiefs' son, is Kelvin Joseph out of Kentucky. He was a second-round pick by the Cowboys back in 2021. The cornerback that was once heralded as a top guy that could potentially be a future star in the NFL, now obviously off the roster. But, hey, the Chiefs now sent him to a reserve slash feature contract. The first thing you see here, the first thing I like, second-round talent. Second-round talent. He's a guy who had some issues more off the field than on it, but overall, hopefully the Chiefs can kind of mold this guy into what could be a potentially really good cornerback. 
Now, if we look at his career stats, there's nothing that pops off the board. 39 tackles, one tackle for loss, one forced fumble, one fumble recovery, and four pass break breakups in 31 career games. Now, obviously, this guy has had some time in the league over the past couple of years, but they haven't really been well spent, so to say. The one thing I want to mention, we know that Brett Veach scouts a lot of positions well, and cornerback is definitely one of them. You think about the guys that he's gotten in the past couple of years, and Joseph could potentially maybe fall into that role the exact same way. He could go and follow in the footsteps of a lot of good cornerbacks. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by that in just a second. But I'm telling you, if you want your Chiefs news, you want everything, the latest news, rumors, well, then hit that subscribe button right now as we're getting into the part of the show that I'm telling you, you're going to enjoy. So hit that subscribe button so you get to enjoy us more and more and more throughout the season and hopefully all the way to the Super Bowl. All right, the scouting of the cornerbacks, let's show you how good it's been. Legereus Dean, top quarterback in the NFL. Jalen Watson, really good young cornerback too. Trip McDuffie, second year at Washington, has played absolutely impressive at the nickel, and he's the reason, well, actually not the reason, but the draft pick we got for trading Mr. Tyreek Hill. Trip McDuffie came out of that. He's played exceptionally well. You want to know how well? He's the number four ranked PFF cornerback in all of the National Football League. Right behind him, Joshua Williams. At 31, Legereus Dean, and then at 56, Jalen Watson. It's pretty impressive to have every single one of your quarterbacks ranked in the top 60 on PFF. And here's the fact of the matter. Trent McDuffie may be the fourth-ranked PFF guy, but Legereus Sneed has locked down every single number one wide receiver in this freaking team that he has played. He's locked down DJ Moore. He's locked down A.J. Brown. He's locked down Tyreek Hill twice. I mean, this guy does not stop when he comes to locking down these star receivers, and he still has not allowed a touchdown in coverage. This guy has been amazing, and now he has the task of facing Stephon Diggs and the Buffalo Bills this upcoming Sunday. Now, GM-wise, Brett Feach has had his ups and downs. But what's your confidence level sitting at? Because he seems like he wants to make this team. We all know that. He wants to make this team better every single day and every single year. So what's your confidence level in Brett Feach? Give me a scale 1 through 10. What's your confidence rank? The second guy the Chiefs signed was actually a wide receiver. She Smith out of South Carolina. He spent the first two seasons with the Panthers. And they weren't all that bad. You know, Smith overall, 400 yards, 28 receptions, 14.3 average, and two touchdowns. This guy looks like a bowler. If you watch his highlights, I've seen him on Twitter, and I'm sure if you go follow me there, you'll see some too. This guy goes up for the ball. He is an aggressive catcher. And I honestly like the call to sign him and just see what he could plan out to be in next season. Now, he did spend 2023 on the Titans practice squad where he was just there the entire year. But now signing this reserve slash future contract, he has a chance to join the Chiefs as either a member of the roster, practice squad, whatever. He's going to be on the 90 man coming up here in the next couple months. So that's where he'll be right now. But I like the signing plus you need wide receivers as much as possible. I mentioned the injury news coming up. Well, here's the main one because this is the important one. Derek Nottie, triceps, triceps. He's the only guy that didn't practice today, which is good news because, guess what? That means everybody else practiced. The bad news is, from what we're hearing, it seems like he could be done for the playoffs, which stinks because he's had an exceptional year. He's been a great guy to have on this defensive line with Chris Jones, George Karloftis, Mike Dana, and Derek Nottie. Now, you're going to have to see what you can do without him as it seems like he is probably done. Obviously, that has not been official. It's not been confirmed, but from the rumors we're hearing from things swirling around the organization, it seems like he will be done for the 2023 season and throughout this postseason, unfortunately. But hey, that's the way it goes. Injuries are a part of the game, and unfortunately, they just stink. But hey, just got to move on. This defensive line has been amazing all year, second in sacks in the league, and yet they're facing the team that allows the least amount of sacks. So we'll have a big test this upcoming Sunday evening against the Buffalo Bills, and I'm telling you, I'm excited for it. That's all we got for you today, but if you made it to the end of the video, well, I want you to do something for everybody. Do something for me. Go down in the comment section, type real one so I know that you're a legend here on the channel. Go down there. I'm going to be checking the comments. I'm reading them every day. If you're a real one, go down there and type that down there. I want to see who is watching all the way through, but we appreciate you, Chiefs Kingdom, as always. Peace out.